Having an energetic, stubborn, yet loyal dog can sometimes be a hassle. Having two of them? Well, let's just say you signed up for trouble. Imagine combining these two different breeds into one amazing hybrid offspring. You're about to find out just how much trouble this can fetch you. From the aggressive Fila to the highly unpredictable Wolf Dogs, here are the 20 most dangerous hybrid dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Presa Mayo There's not much to say about this breed, but the Presa Mayo is a concept breed and the creation of Chad Mayo. It's the combination of an English Bull Terrier, which is obvious from the head, along with the American Bull and the Presa Canario. A combination like this makes a very strong and powerful dog, and not to mention a total eye-catcher. It's like nothing ever seen before. This breed can stand up to around 24 to 29 inches in males and 22 to 27 inches in females. The male weighs somewhere between 130 to 170 pounds, while the female weighs between 115 to 155 pounds. They have a bite force of around 540 PSI. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Fila Brasileiro The Fila Brasileiro was initially developed in Brazil centuries ago as a large game hunting dog and working dog. These large dogs can be pretty intimidating, but there is a reason why the saying faithful as a Fila exists in Brazil. This breed is also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, Brazilian Bloodhound, Cow de Brazil, Cow de Fila, or just Fila. The exact origins of the breed, including when the breed came into existence, aren't well documented. But based on the Brazilian Mastiff's appearance, it's believed that the massive breed was created by crossbreeding English Mastiffs, Bulldogs, and Bloodhounds during the 1600s. These large dogs were used by colonist plantation owners to fend off large predators like jaguars. They were also used for hunting and would often track down livestock like cattle. Sadly, along with escaped enslaved people from the plantations and gripped them by the neck, holding them down until the dog's owners arrived. Somewhere around 1946, the first breed standards for the Fila Brasileiro were officially published. The inhabitants of the city of Sao Paulo were put in charge of keeping the breeding records. Luckily, in 1954, the Brazil Kennel Club Club accepted the breed, and in 1960, the Federation Sinologique Internationale accepted them as well. The Fila Brasileiro has a domineering temperament and is so headstrong that it is highly difficult to train them. These large dogs need lots of space and exercise and can quickly become destructive and aggressive if their needs aren't being met. Although, if they are given quality treatment from their owners, they tend to be loyal and respectful. Unfortunately, a dog bite from them could be exceptionally dangerous, with their bite force being above 400 psi. Number 18. Bull Terrier The Bull Terrier was originally developed in the 19th century as a fighting dog and, later, a fashionable companion for gentlemen. They are a dog breed distinguished by their long, egg-shaped head. Male Bull Terriers have a height between 20 to 22 inches and weight in the range of 55 to 65 pounds, while female Bull Terriers have a height between 18 to 20 inches and weight in the range of 45 to 55 pounds. But generally, the Bull Terrier has an overall body length of roughly 31.5 to 38.5 inches with a height of 23.5 to 29 inches. Like most Terriers, Bull Terriers, especially the unneutered males in particular, can be pretty aggressive toward other animals, especially other dogs. And because they can be difficult to control, Bull Terriers aren't recommended for homes with younger children, but with older kids, it's safe to say that they're tireless playmates. Though some cities and states have restrictions or ban ownership of Bull Terriers, this was following an incident that took place at a school in the city of Niznevartovsk, central Russia, where the dog was seen as it leaped on a girl and bit at her head and hair as friends called for help. The aggressive Bull Terrier had managed to slip away from the flat where it lives and, of course, its owner was fined as a result of its action. There were also a few more cases about this breed being connected to child assault. 
Another source mentioned a situation where a little boy was attacked by his bull terrier best friend, Blizzard. The family did testify that Blizzard had never been aggressive before, so they concluded that he had been startled awake by the flying toy and lunged at the toddler's face in shock. However, the police said the dog was seized under Section 3 of the Dangerous Dog Act. So have it in mind that while this dog breed might be cute looking, they are also dangerous if not carefully observed. Number 17. Staffordshire Bull Terrier the Staffordshire Bull Terrier shares a common ancestor known as the Bulldog with the American Staffordshire Terrier, the American Pit Bull Terrier, and the Bull Terrier. They were created in the early 19th century to be smaller and faster in the fighting ring, yet they can be gentle and friendly towards people. They were probably developed by crossing the Bulldog with an ancestor of the Manchester Terrier. The cross eventually evolved into the Staffordshire Bull Terrier we see today. Staffords stand 14 to 16 inches at the shoulder, with males being taller. Male Staffords weigh 28 to 38 pounds, females 24 to 34 pounds. As loving as these breeds are, they possess a bite force of 328 psi and can be very dangerous if they want. There was a case where a newborn baby boy was savaged to death by a family dog after his mom fell asleep on the sofa, and his dad went outside to get something. Parents Amy Litchfield and Dan McNulty have been previously warned by social workers not to leave Reuben unsupervised and alone with their two staffies. But as the case may be, neither Reuben nor the dogs were being directly supervised at the time of the attack, just before 2 a.m. on November 18, 2018. When paramedics arrived, the baby was airlifted to Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge, where he was found to have suffered severe brain, spinal, and skull injuries. Reuben died at the same hospital on December 13, three days after life support was removed. And according to Simon Newberry, a veterinary forensics expert, the dog may have been bitten Reuben up to 23 times in the head while shaking him around. Number 16. American Bully the American Bully breed was established in the mid-1990s with the purpose of creating the ultimate family companion. It was created through the years of selected breeding by combining the desired traits of the UKC American Pitbull Terrier and the AKC American Staffordshire Terrier. Some lines have added other bully breeds into the mix and sometimes non-bully breeds. The standard American bully type is a medium-sized dog with a compact, bulky, muscular body, a heavy bone structure, and blocky head and can run at an average speed of 25 to 30 miles per hour. They generally have a height of 13 to 21 inches and weigh between 70 to 120 pounds. The American Bully's bite force might be somewhere between 200 and 300 psi range. Despite acting as lap dogs in the home, many dogs perform well in sports such as weight pull and flirt pull. Human aggression is discouraged by breed standards. However, a level of dog aggression is characteristic of this breed. Breeders have acknowledged that American Bully dogs can be very dangerous if not properly raised or bred. This breed requires exercise because due to the fact that the American Bully comes from working dogs, this breed has retained its abundance of energy. That also means that you need to be prepared to give them enough exercise so they don't start to get bored. Take it as a fair warning that bored dogs often turn into destructive dogs. And if you're not able to take your Bully outside every day for exercise, be sure to find other ways to exercise your dog indoors. Number 15. Band Dog it is thought that this hybrid breed came into existence in Middle England around 1250 to 1300. The ancestors of the Bulldog are believed to be the American Pit Bull Terrier and the Neapolitan Mastiff. However, other contributing bloodlines may include the early bull advisors and crossed breeds used in the Crusades. Being strictly a working dog, the band dog was primarily bred for hunting, fighting, and guarding property, most times chained throughout the day and released at night to protect the home. Various Bulldog and Mastiff breeds have been crossed to develop these dogs, leading to confusion over what a true band dog is. Whatever the case may be, the band dog is, without a doubt, a fearsome animal. The typical band dog has brains to match its incredible brawn. Dogs of this type are considered very intelligent and are known for their intuition, especially when it comes to perceiving potential threats. Band dogs are also considered the very best guard dogs known. One nickname for them is the silent peacekeepers in that they don't bark much at all, but will not hesitate to neutralize nearly any threat, often without anyone knowing the threat even existed. Keep in mind that sometimes this threat could also be an unfamiliar guest. The only interesting thing about this breed is that they socialize very well with children, only if raised with them and properly 
properly trained. Generally, this breed happens to be incredibly strong, athletic, and agile. On that note, owners are advised to give their band dog at least an hour of exercise daily and make sure to use a leash while doing that, unless you're fine with lawsuits. Number 14. Wolf Dog Wolf Dog Hybrid is a term used to describe an animal that is part wolf and part domestic dog. Apparently, dogs and wolves share an evolutionary past and thus share many physical and behavioral traits. The wolf dogs are large dogs with males weighing between 79 and 90 pounds and are between 24 and 30 inches tall. On the other hand, females weigh between 66 and 77 pounds and are between 23 and 28 inches tall. Puppies, however, weigh between 25 and 32 pounds when they are 3 months old. By the time they are 6 months old, puppies will weigh between 46 and 60 pounds. Unlike any breed of domestic dogs, wolves with a very high percentage of recent wolf DNA are capable of hunting down and killing nearly any wild or domestic mammal in North America. except for adult bears, wolverines, and mountain lions. Wolves are known social carnivores that intuitively work together to single out and bring down large prey, but they are also extremely effective killers of small creatures as well. As anyone that has ever owned a wolf or a wolf dog can tell you, it's universal that these animals have an out-of-control prey drive. Research done on wolf hybrids has reached a conclusion that no amount of socialization or training may be sufficient to make all wolf hybrids safe to keep as pets. While some wolf hybrids are docile and non-aggressive, a higher percentage of wolf hybrids are likely to be dangerous and prone to attack humans and other animals. In fact, dog bite statistics show that wolf dogs with a bite force of 406 psi ranked 6th position in dog bite fatalities by breed. Number 13. Doggo Argentino This hybrid is known to some people as the most aggressive out of the dangerous dog breeds. The Doggo Argentino was originally bred to hunt down large games such as wild boar and puma and will not hesitate to fight to the death if required. In 1928, Antonio Norris Martinez, a medical doctor, professor, and surgeon, set out to breed a big game hunting dog that could also serve as a loyal pet and guard dog. Antonio Martinez had selected the Cordoba fighting dog to be the base for the breed. Unfortunately, this breed is extinct today, but it was said that as a large and ferocious dog, it was indeed a great hunter. Martinez had crossed it with the Great Dane, Boxer, Spanish Mastiff, Old English Bulldog, Bull Terrier, Pyrenean Mastiff, English Pointer, Irish Wolfhound, and Dog de Bordeaux. He continued to develop the breed via selective breeding to introduce the particular traits he was looking for. Later in 1970, Dr. Raul Zeballos brought the first six specimens of Doggo Argentino to the United States. This breed only needs to run for short distances when in pursuit of its largest game, like boars and mountain lions. The Doggo Argentino is indeed a very powerful dog, which has a bite force of 500 psi. This means it's way stronger than your Rottweiler. They have also been known to take on mountain lions single-handedly, handle a wild boar on their own, and rip the snout off the boar. This dog will dive into danger without even the slightest of hesitation, so you have to remember that to have a dog like this to protect your home, you need to be firm and show who's in charge. Number 12. Tosa Inu the Japanese in the Tosa region had a medium-sized dog that they wanted to develop into a sumo-type wrestler. About 150 years ago, they started crossing their local breed with Mastiffs, St. Bernard's, Great Danes, and Bull Terriers. As a result, they produced this large and beautiful breed. And before World War II, there were thousands of Tosa breeders in Japan. These dogs are large, thick, and strong just like what every sumo wrestler dreams to be. The Japanese Tosa should be exercised daily, but they are not the type of dogs that should be taken to a dog park. Why, do you ask? Well, should your Tosa be attacked by another dog, they are difficult to control. And since they have such a high pain tolerance, <laughs> they usually have no trouble fighting other dogs. So after being able to defend itself, your dog will most likely be blamed and put on a dangerous dog list or euthanized by local animal control. According to Maynard G. Krebs on June 18, 2020, he saw a Tosa fight in South Korea in the 70s. Back then, they only fought to the death. Surprisingly, his friend owned the Tosa, and he remembered how much the dog loved him. Was all that about to go down the drain? Yes, definitely. All it took was for Maynard to watch this dog in action at once, and that was enough to send him the red flags. According to Maynard, it took this toast of four minutes to completely tear its opponent apart, and it was safe to say that he never went near that dog again. Number 11. 
Neapolitan Mastiff. If you're interested in a Neapolitan Mastiff, you should learn as much as you can about the breed. That way, you can make sure it's the dog breed for you. They can be great for some people, but I can't say they are the best for everyone. As a general rule, Neapolitan Mastiffs can be aggressive when they don't have early socialization. Their size alone can also make them dangerous, especially around small children. They are also known to be very aggressive when they sense a threat toward themselves or their family. But it's possible to reduce those tendencies. Neapolitan Mastiffs can be very aggressive towards strangers, especially when the dog senses a threat. They can also be very protective and loyal to their owners, so the dog will do what it can to protect you, even if it means attacking others. Even though this can save you from an attack, it can be a problem if you have visitors or meet other people with your dog in public. Especially if your dog doesn't recognize the other person, then they definitely will try to attack. Neapolitan Mastiffs can also be aggressive towards other dogs. The problem is especially common in dogs of the same gender. They would always want to be the boss, and their size makes it easy for them to actually take control. Number 10. Doberman there's a lot to say about the Doberman and the Pitbull mixed breed, as this designer breed has many different sides and traits. Known as a controversial hybrid, this highly intelligent and active dog breed is sometimes revered and most times feared. Also called the Pit Pincher, or our personal favorite, the Dober Pit. This wonderful canine has more to it than you can imagine. The first half of the Dober Pit being the American Pitbull Terrier is a breed that originated in the UK sometime in the early 1800s. As a working breed, they originally used for bull and bear baiting. When this entertainment was eventually outlawed, it was replaced by dogfighting. Unfortunately, this is where the Dober Pit gets their aggression, as breeders had designed them to be aggressive toward other animals in order to win more fights. Thankfully, as dogfighting was also outlawed, the practice of breeding aggressive fighters slowed considerably. Eventually, they became farm dogs and companions. The other half of the Dober Pit is the Doberman Pinscher. This active and intelligent dog was bred in 1890 by Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman. So now imagine the combination of two breeds, which are considered aggressive. Also, it's important to note that this breed is certainly not recommended for novice owners. Number 9. Box Guy the Box Guy is an adorable mix between a Siberian Husky and a Boxer. These dogs are large, playful, and hardworking, making them a great choice for owners with an active lifestyle. Many people want to adopt them for their unique appearance, which includes a short but thick coat, a stocky frame, and a set of piercing blue Husky eyes. Looking at both parents of this breed, the Boxers were bred to be working war dogs, and this must have rubbed off on their Box Guy descendants, who still love to help out on ranches and other outdoor jobs. On the other hand, Huskies were bred to be sled dogs that could run for long distances. Breeders then created the Box Guy to have a perfect hybrid of these loyal and hardworking tendencies, which proved to be a success. Box Guys are medium to large dogs with strong frames, short coats, slightly elongated snouts, and piercing blue eyes. At the adult stage, Box Guys between 35 and 75 pounds and stand between 20 and 35 inches tall. Although female box guys may be smaller than their male counterparts, this difference is usually not that much. These dogs are very sweet and affectionate, but full-grown box guys tend to be stubborn and a little difficult to handle. Never keep a box guy in a small apartment, and I personally won't recommend them for families with small children or families who are too busy to give the dog the kind of attention it craves. Number 8. New Rotland The New Rotland is a hybrid mix of the Newfoundland and the Rottweiler. These two breeds are both huge but gentle and loving pets, so they make excellent family companions as well as guard dogs due to their size and loyalty. They are usually around 130 pounds on average and stand about 28 to 30 inches tall. The new Rotland has thick medium length fur and can either be black, brown, fawn, or cream with the Rottweiler coloring and Newfoundland coat. Rottweilers are well known to be powerful, protective, and loyal and can be dangerous when they attack intruders. Although Rottweilers are not a threat to the family, they are usually very aggressive when they protect their owners, and it's possible that the new Rotland must have inherited this trait, so it's best to be careful. In August 21, 2019, Rottweilers had been responsible for the second highest number of serious dog attacks in the country over the last 15 years, another trait that may or may not be manifested in their new descendant. Number 7. German Shepherd 
This breed is constantly on duty and always sizing up strangers. The German Shepherd is ready to protect you in an instant, but underneath that tough exterior is a mushy pup who loves its family. Not surprisingly, friendliness is not exactly the German Shepherd dog breed's strong suit. They can sometimes be distant, and you definitely have to earn their trust. Since they are naturally wary of strangers, German Shepherds will default to guard dog mode if they believe their family is in danger. However, the American Animal Hospital Association conducted a study and concluded that German Shepherds were one of the most dangerous breeds based on their bite force and frequency of biting. This is not surprising given the fact that German Shepherds have one of the most powerful bites of all breeds. The study also concluded that large dogs with short, wide heads are the most likely to bite. This conclusion was supported by the fact that pit bulls and rottweilers are responsible for the highest number of fatal attacks. So, it turns out that German Shepherds are more dangerous than the average breed, but luckily, they are not at the top of the list. Number 6. Weiler Day the Weiler Dane is a hybrid designer dog mix. Its parents are the Rottweiler and the Great Dane. Its personality shines as a combination of both dogs' natures. It is protective, gentle, extremely loyal, and bonds closely with its family. Sadly, it's normal that this breed will remain aloof around strangers. And this isn't good because they won't hesitate to knock down anyone who poses a threat to the family. Weiler Dane has a sheer size that is intimidating to most people. They can stand tall and is not uncommon for them to reach 33 inches at the shoulders. The Weiler Dane's body is extremely muscular and he weighs around 145 to 175 pounds. The only thing about these dogs is that they can be very stubborn and could have a mind of their own, which sometimes can be a huge disadvantage, not to mention breed trouble. But even though this breed is large, its mellow disposition means that it can definitely live happy in a small home as long as it's getting adequate exercise. Sadly, this is a breed for owners who have had experience with large and powerful dog breeds before. So if you are slightly inexperienced or totally inexperienced with a large dog breed, I recommend getting a medium-sized dog to build your confidence with them first. The worst possible thing that could happen is having an experienced dog owner with a giant dog that could really cause harm to someone you know or even complete stranger. Number 5. Pitweiler Yes, you guessed it. This is a hybrid mix of the Pitbull Terrier and the Rottweiler. They might look extremely intimidating. Who am I kidding? They do look extremely intimidating, but they can be loving and sensitive companions at heart. Both parents, the Rottweiler and the Pitbull, might be dogs that have violent reputations, but aside from that, both of them make very loyal and loving pets. Rottweilers tend to be tall and muscular, while the pit bulls are much shorter, very stocky, and broad-chested with short, wide heads. When you proof this combo together, you get this impressive result to say the least. This breed, which has a height of roughly 2 feet and weighs as heavy as 100 pounds, is, without a doubt, a large and powerful dog. That scary look can sometimes be deceiving, but it is surprising to know that both pit bulls and rottweilers have devoted followings and are loved by many people because of their fiercely loyal nature and loving demeanor. Their offspring, the pitweiler, is, of course, no exception, as it proves to be even more impressive to behold with a surprisingly calm personality. This dog is the definition of a gentle giant, but if it senses danger, it will not use its large stature to protect the lives of his family, even if it means hurting others. Number 4. Wolf Shepherd As the name implies, this breed is a part of German Shepherd and half Eurasian Wolf. The German Shepherd Wolf mix combines the best traits of attributes of a German Shepherd and Wolf. This mix creates strong wolf-like features and is often mistaken for wild wolves. However, wolves are a wild predatory species, and nobody has been successful in fully domesticating a wild wolf because there will always be a level of unpredictability in this species. It is also very hard to socialize them in a man-made environment. On the other hand, German Shepherds are a prestigious dog breed known for their protective instincts and intelligence. Their strong work ethic is what makes them so popular with the police and military. Most hybrid dogs appear more like one of their parents. Both breeds look similar to a wolf in this case. This wolf hybrid is classified as a large dog breed that will weigh anywhere between 50 to 120 pounds. Sadly, the temperament of the German Shepherd wolf mix can only be described as unpredictable, especially in frightening or new situations. And because of their wolf instincts, they are sure to get aggressive and react unpredictably when they feel threatened. This dog also has a very high prey drive. Therefore, leaving them in homes with smaller animals such as cats, rabbits, or hamsters is not recommended. 
Although they may get along with other dogs, they should definitely be watched and introduced to other dogs at a young age. Number 3. Boxweiler The Boxweiler is a very sensitive dog that does not respond well to negative training of any kind. Positive reinforcement is advisable and will definitely get you much better results with these intelligent dogs. Both of the Boxweiler's parents come from Germany. It is believed that the first Boxweiler was born sometime during the 1980s, but there is debate over whether this occurred in Germany or possibly somewhere else. Both of their parents are intelligent canines who have been used as working dogs for years, so it is no surprise that the Boxweiler has inherited these traits. They are smart and very easy to train as long as they have experienced owners who know how to bring out the best in them. Boxweilers are playful and affectionate toward their families, but can be very wary of strangers. This makes them excellent watchdogs and protectors. Boxweilers are good dogs for families, especially with those older children. Their large size does not make them a great choice for families with small children. Although Boxweilers are not known to be aggressive toward their families, smaller children can make them nervous because young children may not understand how to play gently with such a large dog. Generally, Boxweilers aren't even naturally fond of other animals and may prefer to be the only pet in the household. Number 2. Great Dainsky if you ask me, the Great Dane Ski has a well-balanced disposition with a laid-back nature. But if they are more inclined to the Siberian Husky side, then they could inherit the Great Dane's prey drive and have a tendency to chase cats. If they show the Huskies independence, then obedience and socialization training must be given to them when they are still puppies to eliminate the problem. The Great Dane is a large dog that stands 28 to 32 inches at the shoulder height. They are known as gentle giants, though with a laid back and calm disposition. They are not known to be aggressive and surprisingly, they get along pretty well with other dogs and demand a lot of physical attention from their owners. The Siberian Husky, however, is the one with the more vibrant personality. It's often said that they are a bit crazy and very mischievous. They can also be quite a bundle of energy that may be very challenging to handle most times. The Great Dane Husky mix, a hybrid of the two, would surely produce a nice offspring that balances out with their personalities. And don't get surprised when you start seeing unpredictable outcomes, but for the most part, they are affectionate and loyal dogs that can be a great addition to any family. Number 1. Belgian Malinois Doberman Pinscher the Belgian Malinois Doberman Pinscher mix is a mixed breed dog resulting from breeding the Belgian Malinois and the Doberman Pinscher. Both of these dogs can be friendly, but their personalities differ so you never know what personality traits you have to put up with by adopting this breed. The Belgian Malinois is known for being a protective guardian breed so this mix, without a doubt, is a well protective breed. However, all dogs need proper socialization which will be a big factor in how they interact with others. And like other shepherd kin, though, the Malinois needs activity and this can't be avoided. They do best with owners who lead actively and would want a dog to share that with. That's it for 20 most dangerous hybrid dog breeds in the world. Share your thoughts about this down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!